Hi guys, uh, the graph we're going to work on today is the time series graph and this is reflective from the name itself so that basically uh, represents change over time. Um, the way to create the graph is to highlight the values and here what we have is the damage uh, that occurs for buildings in the years 2004 to 2009. We go to insert and then we choose the scatter graph and we choose this one the one that connects the points with straight lines that is my choice do not choose the one with the curve so we choose this one that's what a line graph is now we make it bigger and as before we assign the titles for the x-axis y-axis and a title for the graph to make it more meaningful I'm gonna delete the legend and the horizontal axis notice now the time series is represented on the horizontal axis that is the x-axis and my data values they go from 2004 until 2009 Excel the nice thing about it it does make the extension one year before and one year after so it takes it from 2003 until 2010 uh, to add the titles we go to the layout and then x-axis title horizontal below and this definitely represents the time or the year in this case we have change over year and we do the same for the y-axis and add a title to it and this is the damage in millions and this is the currency is in dirhams so we add that there and next I'm gonna add the name of the graph since I use this as a title on the y-axis, I'm going to say this is the time series graph, so you know what we're talking about. Next is to make these bigger. So we make it size 14 for the font. Do the same for the y-axis. And if the numbers, if you think the numbers are small, then of course you can make them bigger as well. So let's do the same size 12 font for both the numbers on the x-axis and on the y-axis. Um, what do we use a time series for? We basically look at it to see do we have any trends? Do we have a pattern uh, ascending, descending, increasing, decreasing? Do we have steady um, or stale? It's not moving at all. I mean, we look at all of these values in a time series graph remember guys that you can always apply uh, some enhancement to the graph that you have on hand so if i right click anywhere on my graph and then go to format axis or chart then i can go to the fill you want to make it solid you want to make it gradient uh, i mean any of these can do uh, the gradient for example you can choose from different color you want to make it fancy you want to make it look like this it's really up to you. Play with these different features that you see here on the left side and then see the changes on the graph itself. If you don't like it, you can always go to the undo button and delete what you last did. So again, this is a, an example of a time series graph, which is change over time. I'll see you in the next video.